Welcome back to Ozarks Live. I'm here with our go-to foraging friend, Rachel West. Welcome, Rachel. How are you? I'm great, and I always love the adventurous things that you bring in. I, I see more sticks here. More sticks. So that is a sad stick, actually. I didn't want to break stick? it off, but well, I think so it's, it's a red bud, and yeah. I would uh, I would never want to break one off of a tree, but that was hanging over a walkway that was already going to get like snipped. Oh, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But red buds down in Branson now are completely like open and beautiful, it, as are the are, violets. Are and they so, just far enough south that like they'll open up a little bit? It's just a little bit, yeah. Just well, I mean, so as you can see, tomorrow. these are budded out. So maybe <laughs> maybe three days, maybe three days, we're off. But, uh -huh. Oh, I love uh, it. So right now in this, this like maybe one or two more days mm -hmm. when these get a little bit bigger, that's my favorite time to just pickle them. Mm, pickle so if them. you've got, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've got like claws and brine. Or olive brine or anything like that at home. And if you don't, you can, do you make that? You could. Yeah. Okay. Is that Just look up a refrigerator or pickle can, or. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I don't have any olive brine just like sitting around at home. No. So. You don't have olives in your refrigerator. Oh, you mean like the stuff in olives? Yeah. 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 So any okay. extra, like if you have headroom, you okay, can just toss them off. I'm understanding. Yeah. So uh -huh. if you've already got it made and okay. your kids have eaten all the claws and pickles but one, you can just add mm. your red buds just like that. Okay. And then poof, like refrigerator pickles. Now, is it going to taste like um, olives? It'll taste like the olive brine or whatever uh -huh. flavor. So okay. if it was garlic or. All right. So you made some jelly or jam or something over there. For I us did, too? and so I've even I've already got you one here uh -huh. made if you uh -huh. want to try a little bit. But if you can see that beautiful, beautiful color. So it this is. was. Um, I think we've got some photos here in a little bit that'll show, but I had uh, down in Branson, there was a bunch of violets and the red buds. And so I gathered a basket of those. Oh, there you go. Which one is this? And so those are bird's foot violet, and then those are a bunch of red buds. Okay, and this is all natural to Missouri? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and so, and you can see these big like, old trees. So that mm -hmm. was actually a picture that I took last year, but I wanted you guys to be able to see how, uh, it's an understory tree, but uh -huh. it's still, I mean, that, that some of those there, that's a 15 foot tree. Um, yeah. There, even though it's a little bit on a bank, uh, I've been and this some is of your that curly dog, yes, uh -huh. and it's just so beautiful. And it so, is. it's an easy way for you to be able to top any kind of dessert mm -hmm. or anything. But if you want to do jelly, uh, we've got a link that'll go up. And so on my website, I've got a whole list of everything uh, about red buds and all of their qualities. Uh, they've got you know vitamins A, B, C, and so being able to talk about that and um, it's mm. sweet and tart. The it's violence. So and the thing is, I know you're not putting a natural like coloring in this. Like, oh, this no, is that's just the color. color. Now, uh -huh. I did add a teaspoon of lemon juice to make it extra bright, or else it would have been more purple. Oh, okay. And so Good that's just the pH uh, in my well water. And uh -huh. so you, don't, you can choose to let it be uh, okay. pale or purple. So, or real quick, what was the process bright. on that? And so, jelly, you're just turning your red buds into a strong tea, and then mm -hmm. you're adding your pectin. Now, powdered pectin, you want to add it before you bring it to a boil. And the liquid pectin, you wait until your liquid's fully boiled okay. or boiling, and then you add it. But those instructions are on your on box. The and yeah. so <laughs> okay. you don't have to worry about that. As soon as you got your strong tea to your well, amount, and, and you also, are obviously, then you can't use a low sugar with this one okay. because there isn't enough sugar in the fruit because you're using flowers. Now, oh, right. if you are using um, a peach, it's got mm -hmm. so much natural uh -huh. sugar in its own. Right. So. Right. Now, I mean, Rachel West's language, she always makes tea out of things. And so, like, at first, I had to get used to you saying that. But all you're doing is steeping, like, the red buds in water, right? Sure. And I bring mm -hmm. a kettle to a boil, and then I let the water, uh, I, like, I like to let it stop bubbling. Mm -hmm. And then once it stops bubbling, then I'll pour it over the flowers. Always put a lid on, because vitamin C is heat soluble. Oh, and so, uh, put the lid on, and then let it cool. And then you just strain out your flowers, okay. and... Yeah. The flowers, actually, all of them, the violets and the red buds, will be uh, ghost-like. They'll look like just white clear. Oh. And, like all of their life because has been sucked into the tea. Yeah, okay. everything is gone. So I love as you're it. straining them and you're adding to the compost, uh -huh. they are done. What a good time life. of so, year for you to be out there foraging and for oh us my to gosh, be learning it about is it. Starting. All right, how do people find more information about you and all of your awesome events that you have coming up? Uh, EatingTheOzarks.com. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. This Thank you very delicious, much. This is delicious, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, coming up, we're going to be back out with Tom at Hy-Vee. Stick with us. Bye, guys.